Now, they are building their own kingdom. It's the Jewish earthly kingdom with headquarters in Jerusalem where their AI Messiah will be and they're going to rule the world through the, uh, through the law. You know, it will be international, one law, one religion, basically, Luciferian religion. So yes, in a Talmud, this is the Jewish earthly kingdom and this is why um, the Zionist Christianity have embraced Kiliism. And this is how Jews and Christians are getting together and Christians are so deceived thinking that they're working for the good thing for the Jews, like they're helping the Jews. The Jews are supposed to get this kingdom. Yet this is um, Zoharic doctrine and it does not have good intention. As I said, that they want to rule the world. They want to get Gentile riches and they want to um, they want to rule the Gentiles. They don't consider Gentiles fully human beings. And in fact, as an end game, they have this uh, strange doctrine, Adam Kadmon doctrine, which Adam Kadmon of, uh, originally was, according to Zohar and Talmud, he was androgynous, you know. Adam was. Adam, like he wasn't male or he was male, female in one body. And this is why you see this transgender agenda today and there are laws, very serious laws, passing in Alberta, Canada. Is Zionism behind the transgender movement? Yes, it gets its origin in Zionism and it gets its origin in the Talmud, Zohar and Kabbalah. It's a Kabbalistic doctrine of Adam Kadmon, which is uh, eventually they have this doctrine called Tikkun Olam, repairing the world. Yes. So how do they want to repair the world? They want to bring it to the original. Who was original? Adam, he was androgynous. So now they're putting specific things in food and drink and they're uh, basically their end game is to make um, humans that on earth that will survive whatever it is they're bringing uh, androgynous.